Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about links. That means the A element in HTML. But don't think you already know everything about links because one of the common mistakes beginners make is they don't understand how to link correctly down inside folders on their own website and then up again out of those folders to other files on their website. So we're going to go over that as well. So the basic structure of a link is you've got an opening A tag, you've got a closing A tag, and between the two tags you have the text that's going to be linked and usually blue and clickable so that when that text is clicked the page opens. How do we know which page is going to open? That is the role of the href attribute. So between those two quotation marks, you need to put the path to the page that you want to open. If it's going to be a page at another website, an external URL, then you're going to need to include the complete URL, including the protocol HTTP or HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, the domain name, the entire thing. So the perfect way to make sure that you're getting that URL correct is open the web page you want to link to, go into the address bar of your web browser, and copy the link from the address bar, then paste it into your document. That way you won't have any typos and you won't have a broken link. Any error in the URL is going to cause a broken link. So an external URL goes to an external page, not on your own site. An internal URL, a local URL, goes to a page that's on your own site, and you can go back and forth between those pages. Those URLs are not complete. What do they look like? Here's the one you're looking at on this page. So within the opening A tag in the href attribute, you've got simply the name of the file. This is because both of these documents are in the same directory or folder on my hard drive. So what I've been doing is going back and forth between this file and this file. They're both in the same folder, they're both at the same level, and so the href contains only the file name, including its file extension, .html. So you'll see that on the links page, other page is styled like this. To reach the other page, we just use its file name. And on the other page, to reach the links page, we also just use its file name. Now you know we can have text as a link that you click and you go to another page. We can also use an image as a link. When you click the image, you go to another page. I happen to have an image in this folder named albert.ping, and I'm going to put that into my document. So I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to put it in links.html, and I'm going to have it link to the University of Florida page. So I'm going to put it down here. And instead of the text, University of Florida, I'm going to put the image in here. So what I need to do is insert the IMG element with its SRC attribute to albert.png, ping is the file extension. Every IMG has to have an alt attribute. So I will put old school Albert Gator. And I have to close my image element. That is an empty element, so there's no closing tag, just a closing bracket. And I'll close up the spaces between the opening A tag, the image element, and the closing A tag. Save my file. Reload. And what happened? I don't see my image. This is your first lesson in making sure that your relative URLs are complete and correct. When we were looking in the folder, Albert 
is not at the same level as links.html. So in order to have the image show up on my page, I've got to include the complete path. That includes the folder named images. So to correct this, I'll go into my SRC element. I will type the name of the folder in a slash and keep the name of the file, Albert, save, reload. Now I've got Albert. And when I click Albert, I go to the UFL homepage, the same as my text link. So now we're going to talk about how to navigate among multiple levels of folders when you're writing links from page to page within your own site. So I've got a deeply linked page inside a folder that's inside a folder that's inside a folder. So this page here, it's three levels down. How am I going to link to that to make it actually open up? So I've got a link on the other page that goes to that page. And so I will open up the other page and show you what that one looks like. It's here. So what I need to do to access that page is I need to include the complete path, which means each one of the folders that it's nested inside. And then my link will work. So if it's inside one, inside two, inside three, and that's where we go to get it. When I'm linking from this page, which is at the same level with one, what I've got to do is I've got to include one slash two slash three slash, and then the name of the file I'm linking to. How am I going to link back up out of this one to one of the folders on the top level? So for example, if I want to link from here to here, or from here to here. How am I going to do that? I've got to go up on the deep page. I've got that link, and it's different. You don't do the names of the folders. You actually indicate each level up with a double dot and a slash. So for each level I have to go up, dot, dot, slash, and then another level, dot, dot, slash, and then a third level, dot, dot, slash, so that I can get from deep page HTML all the way up to links.html, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, up to here. When I go from here down to here, I have to name the folder, name the folder, name the folder. So this uh, way of writing the relative path to files within folders, files within directories, it's an area of very common mistakes, lots of mistakes that beginners make. So take some time to make sure you understand this, dot, dot, slash to go up, folder name to go down, and you can link to anything on your site.